Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to populate your Figma designs from content in a CSV file uh, using the CopyDoc plugin. So the first thing we need to do is just jump into the Figma community and search for CopyDoc. So that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C. And when the first result pops up under the plugins tab, um, you can just go ahead and click on the install button on the right hand side and that will um, install the plugin and you'll be ready to go. Um, so I'm just going to jump back into my Figma design and today I'm going to be using a movie application just to demonstrate how we can dynamically populate this movie poster block uh, using content that we've populated in a spreadsheet, um, CSV spreadsheet file. Um, so before we open up the plugin that we just installed, I'm going to jump into my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Um, so you can use other applications for this. If you want to use Google Sheets and save that as a CSV, you could totally do that. Um, or using the Mac Numbers app as another spreadsheet app and save it as a CSV, that's fine as well. Um, but for today, I'm just going to be showing you how to do it in Excel, um, but the format will be the same regardless. Um, so the format we do need to use is fairly simple and it's going to be the same for your own content as well. So the main thing to know is that the first row of your spreadsheet is effectively your header and the header is going to be used to name your columns and that's going to be used to map that content back into your Figma file. Um, so what I mean by that is you can see here, for example, this column uh, header is named hashtag title. And in my Figma design, if I switch back into that, um, you can see here in my little movie poster component, I also have a text layer with the same name. So I've got hashtag title in my Figma layer. So that's the Figma text layer. And I've also got my column name the same. So it's hashtag title. Um, the same thing is true for the reviews. So in here, I can, you can see I've got a text layer with hashtag reviews and also in this image layer. So I've got a poster, um, this image sort of movie poster layer, which is an image in Figma. And I've named that image layer also hashtag poster, which matches up with the uh, poster column in my spreadsheet. So what that means is we're going to actually automatically swap out that image dynamically in a minute uh, when we run the plugin and it's going to automatically swap in this image content into our Figma design. Um, so to show you what that looks like, if you do want to add your own images, um, it's fairly straightforward. You can either upload the images somewhere online of your own uh, website or get your own link for your own images. Or if you just want to grab something like a movie poster, for example, um, you can just go to Google Images, search for the image you want, open it up, and then in the uh, image preview, just go ahead and right click on that and then click on copy image address. And then back in your spreadsheet under your image column, whatever that happens to be, um, you can just paste that in there and that will paste in a URL to the JPEG uh, image. So the plugin will automatically pick up on the link. And if it's an image layer, it'll automatically uh, swap that into Figma later. Um, so then you can go ahead and just uh, populate the rest of these. So for example, I'm gonna use the Suicide Squad movie for this latest row and I can just populate that the same way. And now we're ready to go. So our spreadsheet is all done now. This is the format that you can use for your own content. Um, I've got four different movies that I wanna add into my app. So now that we've got our spreadsheet structured correctly, um, just make sure that you are saving it as a CSV. So if you go to File, Save As, and then uh, under the File Format, you just wanna make sure in whatever app you're using that CSV is selected and you can just go ahead and save that to your desktop or wherever else um, is easiest. Uh, if it gives you this little warning, that's fine. It's just trying to get you to save it as a Microsoft Excel file. Um, I do have another YouTube tutorial um, using that file format, but for now we're just gonna ignore that and use the CSV file. So I'm gonna jump back into Figma now and I'm gonna run the plugin that we just installed a minute ago by right clicking anywhere on the page, going down to plugins and then clicking on copy doc. So that's gonna fire up the plugin that we just installed. And I'm not gonna be going through any of the other features in this plugin today. You can check out our other YouTube, tu YouTube tutorials for those. Um, today, I'm just gonna be focusing on this brand new feature called Sync Spreadsheet Content. So you can open that up by clicking on the Sync Content button in the plugin. So I'm gonna click on that now. And you can see here, it's got an option to sync a CSV file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the CSV file that we just saved to our desktop over here. And I'm just going to drag and drop that file directly into this little drop zone in the CopyDoc plugin. So I'm going to let go of the mouse now, drop that in, 
and you can see it's instantly loaded up my spreadsheet columns from the CSV file and it's giving me a preview of the headers. So the headers are these um, little bold tags that it's pulling in the first row from our spreadsheet and then it's also pulling in the second row from the spreadsheet um, content to give you a little preview of what each uh, content might look like um, just to sort of show you what each of these relates to. Okay, so now that we've done that, the last thing we need to do is just uh, duplicate our original layer. So I'm using a component, but you can use other groups as well. So you could use a frame or a Figma group. Uh, today I'm just going to be copy pasting this component into three new instances of the component. So I'm just copy pasting those normally and moving them around. And because these are copied instances, just to confirm, you can see here the naming of those text layers and image layers um, are importantly still named the same as our spreadsheet headers over here. Okay, so now that we've copied those, that was kind of the last step. And all you need to do is now select those. So you can see in my left hand side here, I've got all four of those selected. And now in our plugin, you can see it's telling us we've got the four selected layers. So what I'm going to do now is just click on the sync spreadsheet rows with Figma layers button. So I'm going to click that. And what that's going to do is it's going to go through and download all of those uh, high resolution movie posters. It's going to uh, swap that in to all of our Figma layers and also update all the text. Um, so that's done now. You can see it's told us that it's updated the content for 24 different layers in Figma. And uh, it's looking really good. We've got our dynamic posters. So instead of just having it all the same, uh, it's swapped it out with our content from the spreadsheet. We can verify that just by having a quick look. And basically the way it works is it loops through each of those selected layers and then uh, also loops through at the same time each of these rows. So for each selected layer, it will use the data from one row and it will automatically swap out any matching layers it finds with these header labels. Um, so that's exactly what it's done. So you can see we've got the No Time to Die, June, Black Widow and Suicide Squad all swapped out. All the uh, minutes are swapped out, all the reviews are swapped out tags are all swapped out and uh, of course the images have all been replaced. Um, so that's basically it. It's, it's fairly simple once you figure out um, the structure, once you get an idea of how the spreadsheet's meant to be set up um, just like this. So you can use this format in your own uh, CSV spreadsheets to sync with Figma as well. Um, but yeah, once you've, once you've mastered that, it's, it's a really simple process. You can, you can use this feature as much as you want to update um, uh, any kind of grids or lists or uh, any sort of repeatable content it's it's very very useful for um, so yeah that's that's basically it if you've been wondering how to uh, sync repeatable content from a csv spreadsheet into your figma design designs um, this is a really really simple way of going about it and uh, unlike our other tutorial with the uh, google sheets um, this is all local to your computer as well so if you uh, work at a company that doesn't let you use google sheets or something like that uh, which is this other feature down here then maybe the uh, csv option is going to be more to your liking um, so that's it for today i just wanted to keep it as uh, simple as possible as uh, short as possible so um, feel free to use this uh, feature in your own workflow uh, or with your own team if you've got a, a bunch of copywriters on your team and and uh, need to do some efficient content updates then this might be an option for you to try out um, so thank you as always for watching and we'll be back, back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one uh, very soon.